Durst is the worst. Durst the worst, bitch. Durst the worst, bitch. Durst the worst, bitch. Our speaker, Tim Murs from ACLU. Thank you. And let me start by saying that we all need to hold directly responsible the U.S. government for the drowning deaths of Oscar Martinez and his 23-month-old daughter in the waters of the Rio Grande. There's a picture of them. Somebody is holding them up on a sign. Please turn that around so everybody can see Oscar and his little daughter who drowned in the waters of the Rio Grande and why they were forced into those waters by an illegal U.S. policy that limits the number of asylum seekers who can cross the bridge over the Rio Grande and enter the United States. This illegal policy is based on a pretext that the most powerful nation on earth cannot process more than a few dozen asylum seekers a day. Oh. And that's a lot. And because of that, Oscar and little Valeria went into the waters of the Rio Grande and met their death. But what if they had been able to cross the bridge? Or what if they had made it across the river? What would, have, what would they have encountered then? Cages. The cages, the freezers that Daryl so eloquently described, where children and their mothers lay on on concrete floors where the air is kept in the, in the 60 degree temperatures, where nursing mothers are not getting enough water to keep oh. up their milk production. And after the cages, what is next? Camps. The United States is building these tent cities, these internment camps in Texas, in Tornillo camp in Tornillo, Texas, in Cerrito Springs, where they will open a new camp, the camp in Homestead, Florida, and they have plans to build more of these camps, these internment oh. camps. Oh. Oh. Perhaps most galling is the internment camp that will be built at Fort Sill in Oklahoma. Oh. Fort Sill, where Japanese Americans were interned during World War II in one of the greatest sins of this country, a sin that is being relived today in, our, in the name of keeping the other out of the country. We must close the cages. We must shutter the camps. evil policy that I want to make sure we all know of. If Oscar and Valeria had made it into the United States to apply for asylum, there's a very good chance that they would have been sent back to Mexico to wait for their case in immigration court in the United States. They have a case in the United States, but they're told, go back to Ciudad Juarez. Go back to the dangerous areas along the border where you fled and try and live there for the next year while your immigration case go, goes forward. Where you have no ability to work, where there is no shelter, where there is murder and extortion and rape. And they are asked, well you can wait there and your case will proceed in immigration court in the United States. This policy also must come to an end. Yeah. And so our call to action, our call to action to all of you is to contact your elected representatives. You know, Ron Johnson has his office upstairs. Where is it? Let's make sure he hears us. Let them know that we need to stop the limitation policy at our borders limiting asylum seekers. Right. We need to close down the cages. We need to close down the camps. We have to stop the remain in Mexico policy. Right. 
but you also need to get active here locally. Yes. You need to work with the organizations that are present here to make sure that our local law enforcement agencies are not cooperating yes. with the deportation machine. Yes. on the streets of Milwaukee, on the streets in Wisconsin, in, the, in La Crosse, and in Green Bay. A, whenever an immigrant parent is picked up, a family is separated. And this must end. Yes. And see, si say, puede. Si yeah. say puede. Bitch!